All right, let's explore a little bit more on the debug command in our network. But let's go to router two to do that, where you can see more traffic because router two is receiving a lot of updates. So let's go to router two and let's turn on debug for rip. Debug IP rip. So remember, it takes 30 seconds for updates to take effect. So it takes a little bit for the uh, updates to come in and you to see them. RIP uses a multicast address to send out its updates. In IP version 4, it's using the 224.0.0.9 address, which you can see right here. But very important as well is the version of RIP that you're sending and the version of RIP that you're receiving. Because there's RIP version 1 that some people, for whatever reason, are still using RIP version 1. Well, RIP version 1 and RIP version 2, they're not compatible. Meaning that if you send version 2 to a version 1 router, the version 1 router will not accept any updates. So it will not receive the routing table information from that particular router. On the other hand, a version 1 can send to version 2 and version 2 will accept it. So you could be going, oh my God. This router sees those networks, but like router one sending version one updates to version two, router two says, hey, I can see all your networks underneath version one. But router one won't see anything from the other routers. So what comes to the rescue? How can you troubleshoot this issue? Debug IP rip. You see it right here, sending version two, and then you can see as it comes up that it's receiving version two. And that's what you need to look for. Yeah, the multicast address is nice, but here, right here, here it is. And it just moved on me again. Received version two, here we go. That's what you wanna see, that you're receiving and then you're sending on version two. If there's a problem where one router sees it and the other doesn't, that means that the version of RIP, you may have forgotten to type version two. So that will be the only thing that you will need to do. Let's type a debug IP RIP and take a look at that. But it also tells you the metrics. Look at the metrics. One hop, two hops. It's going to let you know because if this says 15, then there's a problem. You've reached your maximum limit. That means that the next network after that, it's going to be unreachable. So debug IP rip does give you a lot of information. It's a great troubleshooting tool that we can use in a network. And I advise you to use it quite a bit when you're going out there if you're using dynamic routing.